Hey, it's me, your trainer, Joey Atlas, back with yet another episode of Serious Home Fitness. I hope you're ready, because I am. We're going to go through a short workout here, focusing on the back and the chest. We're going to be using bands, and we're going to be use I'm going to be using the Atlas unit. You, being that you don't have one yet, you're going to be looking for a countertop anywhere from waist to chest high. And you will do the same thing I do on your countertop. Now I've got one band anchored about waist high. So you want to anchor yours around mid-body on, on uh, your doorway or wherever it is you anchor your bands. Obviously I have mine on the Atlas unit and until you get yours you'll have to find some other place to anchor your band. So we start here. We're doing the one arm row this is a full body move and we're going to build up some tension in this band and you're going to want to make sure that you've got some tension built up in your band from the start of the move. So you may have to move back a bit. We start by reaching forward where the band is coming from. We pull back in here and turn a little bit. So we reach, get a good stretch, pull back, a little bit of a turn. Reach forward, pull, a little bit of a turn. We want to get that elbow coming in behind us and pulling that hand close to the chest. So here, you might see other people doing this in a, in a very short movement pattern like this. We're going we're gonna to really make something out of this move and get the whole body involved. So you're going to go for about 15 of these. Then we're going to switch sides and do the right side. give you a few more here so we can keep count with you. You want to breathe out as you're pulling back. Breathe in on the way forward. Breathe out as you're pulling back. Should be about 15 there. So we're going to switch now. We're going to do the other side. Again, we're reaching forward for a good stretch here. Pulling back with a turn here. And of course, you can always use a heavier band, make the exercise a little bit more of a challenge. You can even attach two or three bands if you have them, and that will also increase the resistance as well. And then, of course, again, you can always take a step or two back. My band might snap here, so you might get some comic relief in this exercise by watching this. That's about 15 there. We're going to go to the push-off. On this exercise, we're going to go with a close grip. And by close grip, I mean maybe one or two inches between the tips of my thumbs. And we're going to place our hands on the countertop. Again, I'm using the bar on the Atlas unit. You're going to get on your tippy toes. You're going to lean in so that your chest touches the backs of your hands. You breathe out as you push. Leaning in, chest touches, push away. As you're pushing away, don't, don't let your back arch and your chest cave in. You want to keep good posture here. You want to keep your chest up so that you're using all these muscles of the shoulders and chest area to push forward. And you still want to keep a good focus on your chest area by doing this. You don't want to just collapse and relax and Use your arms and back muscles. So we go here. I want to flex that chest on the way out, pushing. On these, you also want to shoot for 15. If it's too easy at the height you have it, you can always look for a lower countertop. You can look for a chair that you can place against the wall or two chairs if you need two because we're going to need them on the next variation of this. It's 
Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna call that 15. Again, that's a close grip push off, and your thumbs are gonna be about an inch or two apart. And you place them where you're gonna anchor your hands, and that's where you're pushing from. The next set, I would come back and shoot for another 15 of the one arm rows with the bands. Okay, I'm not gonna do those now, but you'll do them when you actually do this set. So it's 15 on the left, 15 on the right. Remember, big step back, stretching, pull as you breathe out. So it's 15 on the left, 15 on the right. Then, after you do that 15, you're gonna come back to your push off area, and now we're gonna go with a wide grip set. And by wide grip, I mean hands are going to be just outside shoulder width. On the regular push-off, we go hands even with the shoulders, okay? But now we're going to take them out a little wider. So hands are going to be outside the shoulders. And we're getting into the same movement pattern here. We're coming in, chest touches the bar or the countertop, and you push away. Again, you want to keep good posture here. When you push back, you don't want to start doing this and caving in with the chest. We're keeping good posture. So even at the top, we still have good focus on the chest, arms, and shoulders in this move. We're not relaxing when we get up there. Move is slow, controlled, breathing in as you come down here, breathing out as you push away. Again, if this height is easy, wherever you're doing it, you can always look for a lower countertop. You can set two chairs against the wall, and you're pushing into them against them for the same move with the wider grip. Or, eventually, when you get your own Atlas unit, you can do everything I'm doing that you see here today exactly the way I'm doing it. good thing about this is if this is too easy for me, I'm going to call that 15 by the way, I can just take this off, bring it down a little bit lower, and do a slightly more challenging set down here. Okay, that's it for today's episode of Serious Home Fitness. That's the workout. Do it once. If once through is too easy, do it twice. If that's too easy, do it again. Let me know how you do.